Hey there, tech fans. Rick here again from the O-Ray team with an overview of the BK-808 8 input, 8 output, 8K HDMI matrix. This product was engineered to make it incredibly easy for you to connect eight different HDMI media devices to eight 8K ultra high definition monitors at the same time while providing complete control over which of those media streams is being displayed on each one of the monitors at any given time by simply tapping a few buttons on the front of the unit using the infrared remote control or by connecting it to your local network and opening a web browser or through a direct RS-232 connection to a local computer. The product fully supports 8K ultra high definition media content on all all eight inputs and all eight outputs, and is both HDMI 2.1 as well as HDCP 2.3 compliant, which means it's plug and play compatible with all of your modern media gear. The product also provides audio extraction capabilities that will digitally separate the audio component from any of the HDMI media streams and allow you to pass that along through a digital or analog connection to a soundbar or a home stereo for that full theater experience. It also includes an infrared extender so you can mount this inside of a video cabinet and still use the remote control. Now as part of this overview, I'd like to start with a quick unboxing just to show you everything that's included, and then I'll take a closer look at the BK-808 and explain the connections and indicators, I'll list the features and functions the product provides, and then I'll come back and do a short demonstration to show you just how easy this product will be to use with your own equipment. So let's get started with the unboxing. When you first open the box, you'll find the BK-808. You'll also find a single 24 volt, 3.75 ampere DC power supply with a cord you can use to plug it into the wall. So you'll plug this into an outlet. The other end of the cable has a barrel connection on it with a locking collar, which plugs directly into the DC input port in the back of the unit and provides all the power you'll need for operation. You'll also find an infrared extender. You can plug this into the back of the unit and locate the receiver module outside of a cabinet. And that way you can still use the infrared remote control. You'll find connection cables if you choose to use the RS-232 connection, a bracketing kit you can use to mount this up off the ground and out of the way or into a video cabinet. You'll find connections for the audio block on the back, so if you decide to use the audio extraction capabilities, these make it a lot easier to connect it up to your stereo or your soundbar. You'll find an infrared remote control. This is really nice because it allows you to make all of your selections from quite a distance away from the unit. Also included is a warranty card and a full instruction manual that lists connection diagrams, specifications, and other really important details about the product that you'll want to understand in order to use it correctly. Now, if you stay tuned next, I'll take a closer look at the unit. I'll list the features and functions and then I'll come back and do that demonstration. The O-Ray BK-808 features a full metal enclosure which makes it incredibly durable and the perfect choice for both residential and commercial installations. Along the top of the cabinet and the right-hand side, you'll find ventilation slots, and on the left-hand side, you'll find two cooling fans that will draw air through these ventilation slots across the electronics to keep everything inside at a very comfortable temperature. On the bottom of the unit, you'll find four rubber feet that are designed to protect the surface you set this down on and keep it from sliding around during operation. On the front of the unit, starting on the left, you'll find a digital display that provides all the information you'll need to understand about the current status of the product. It's also where you'll make your configuration choices. On the right-hand side of that display, you'll find a power indicator. The minute you add power to the unit and turn it on, it immediately starts an internal power on self-test where it checks the electronics. Once it passes that test, it'll light that power LED, letting you know it's ready to use. Below that is an infrared receiver window. That's where the signals from the remote control are picked up. So when you set this up, make sure you have that window visible if you're using that remote control. To the right of that, you'll find eight buttons labeled input one through eight and eight buttons labeled output one through eight. And these allow you to make your choices of which input is sent to which output. And to do that, very simply, tap the output you'd like to change and then tap the input you'd like sent to that output. And this is fully explained in the manual. To the right of these 16 buttons, you'll find a menu button in the upper left. When you tap that, you'll enter the configuration menus over here and you can make whatever changes are needed to accommodate your particular configuration. Once you've made your choice for a particular configuration step, hit the enter button to lock that in. To the right of these two buttons, you'll find an up and a down button. These allow you to walk through the various configuration options and the different steps to change those. So you can tap these to walk through those configuration menus. On the upper right hand corner, you'll find a power button that can be used to turn the unit on and off by simply tapping that button once power has been applied. And below that is a lock button. When you tap the lock button, it deactivates all the buttons on the front of the unit. And that prevents any kind of inadvertent changes from being made if somebody brushes a button. You can tap that again to unlock the buttons. 
On the rear of the unit's where you'll make all your connections. Starting on the left, you'll find eight HDMI ports labeled HDMI input, one through eight. These connect to the media devices you'd like to share the content from with your output monitors. And to the right of those, you'll find eight more full-sized HDMI ports labeled output, one through eight. These connect to your monitors that you'd like to enjoy the content on. Always use a high-performance HDMI cable for all these connections. This product provides audio extraction capabilities where it can digitally separate the audio from the media stream and then allow you to pass that along to a soundbar or a home stereo through an analog or a digital connection. Above these, you'll find those audio outputs, so one through eight for the audio outputs, and again, you'll find an optical SPDIF output as well as an analog left and right. Finally, to the right of that, you'll find two network connections right here. This is a LAN port. You can connect this to your local network, and that allows you to access the graphical user interface of the unit by simply opening a browser. You can also do the same thing by connecting directly to a computer with this RS-232 port. To the right of that is an infrared extender port. If you locate this inside of a cabinet where that window up front isn't visible, you can use the infrared extender kit, locate the receiver outside the cabinet, and plug it in right there. On the bottom, you'll find a DC input port, and that's used with the included power supply. Plug it into any standard wall outlet. You can actually take the other end of the cable and plug that in here, and that'll provide all the power you'll need for operation. And then lastly, you'll find a grounding slug right there. You can actually ground this to earth ground if you choose to do that, if you're wiring this into some type of video cabinet. That's pretty much it for the unit. The O-Ray BK-808 is compatible with all HDMI media devices, including media players like Roku, streaming devices, game consoles, digital projectors, and computer systems. The product's features include full support of 8K ultra-high definition media content. It provides eight input connections and eight output connections for your media equipment. It is both HDMI 2.1 as well as HDCP 2.3 compliant. You can control the product through the buttons on the front of the unit, a graphical user interface, the infrared remote control, or through a direct RS-232 connection to a local computer. It also provides audio extraction capabilities. Now I'll show you the connections you'll need to make to use this product with your own equipment. And for this demonstration, over here I've set up eight different media devices. Some of them are displaying an image, and one of them is actually looping a video. Each of these have different output resolutions because I wanted to show you that you can easily mix and match a wide variety of different media devices on the BK-808 at the same time. And this is the media content that I'd like to display on my output devices. On either side of me, I've set up eight high resolution monitors as my output devices, and this is where I'd like to enjoy the content from those media players. Now the first set of connections I'll make are from the media players directly to the BK-808 and I've already connected a high-speed HDMI cable up to each of the players. The other end of those cables will plug into HDMI input number one through eight. And it's really important you use a high quality cable for your input and output connections to ensure the best quality image on your output displays. Now the nice thing about the BK-808 is that it can automatically scale the input versus the output which allows you to mix and match a wide variety of resolutions on your input devices and even resolutions on your monitors. Okay, so I've made eight connections for the input and now we're ready to connect up the output monitors. Let's start with these six. I've got HDMI cables connected to each of these and it's a high speed cable as well. And I'll plug those into HDMI output one through eight. Now, the BK-808 gives you several ways you can control the input versus output relationship. You can do it simply by tapping a button on the front of the unit, and you'll select the output you'd like to change and then pick a new input. You can use the infrared remote control. There's two more monitors over here. Let me connect those up. You also have a choice of connecting the BK-808 to your local network with a LAN cable, and then opening a web browser and accessing the internal GUI, or you can directly connect this to a computer over an RS-232 connection. All four of those will give you complete control over which input is being displayed and which output. Now for this test, I've got input one going to output one, two to two, three to three, so you'll see all the inputs on all the outputs. And now we're ready for power. I've already plugged in the power supply, the other end of that cable has a barrel connection on it, which plugs directly into the DC input port in the back. And the minute I add power to the unit, it starts an internal power on self-test, where it's checking the electronics, it's also checking the resolution of the input devices and the resolution of the displays to make whatever adjustments are needed to give you the best possible picture. 
And you'll hear a beep like that once it finishes that self-test. And now it's ready to start displaying the inputs. And it'll take a second to come up, and there you go. There are all the inputs. And you can see they're all different uh, because I've got input one going to output number one. Now, if I'd like to change that, I can tap the output first and then the input I'd like sent to that output. And I could really send the same input to all eight outputs at the same time, or again, mix and match as often as needed. So let me pick input number, or I should say output number one, and I'll change that to a different input. And you'll see a change. It'll take a second for that to happen. And you'll see it come up on the screen. And it happens just that quickly. And the nice thing is, it's actually doing the auto scaling while it's making that connection internally. And there you go. It's still thinking, it's a, it's a boot up device, so that's the input right there. But it really is just that easy to get it working. And again, the beauty of the product is that I can redirect any input to any output at any given time using the buttons, the infrared remote, through a GUI over the network, or through a direct RS-232 connection. The unit will take charge and downscale as needed to accommodate the input versus the output. You can even enable ARC uh, audio on there as well, and you have complete control over the EDID settings as well. And all of those can be accessed through the front menu, or through that GUI interface, or through that direct RS-232 connection. And again, it's just that easy to get it working. I hope you found this overview of the O-Ray BK-808 helpful. This product provides an incredibly easy way for you to connect up to eight different HDMI media devices like a DVD player or game console or even a computer to eight ultra high definition monitors at the same time while providing complete control over which of those media streams is being displayed on each one of the monitors at any given time by simply tapping a button, using the included infrared remote control, or by connecting it to your network and opening a web browser from anywhere on your network or through a direct RS-232 connection on the back to a local Local computer and you can send the same input to all eight monitors at the same time or different inputs to different monitors depending on your needs the product is also HDMI 2.1 as well as HDCP 2.3 compliant which means it's completely compatible with all of your modern media gear it also provides audio extraction capabilities which will digitally separate the audio from all eight outputs and allow you to pass that along through an analog or digital connection to a soundbar or amplifier system for that full theater experience Everything you need to get started is included with the kit, and with a few simple connections, you can be up and running in no time. So until next time, thanks again for watching.